Hello my fellow YouTubers. Welcome to my first instructional video. This video will cover keyboard remapping for Advanced Diablo 2 play. Yes, you too can remap your keyboard. You do not have to be satisfied with the kind of uh, mapping that comes as a default. And I will show you how. And the reasons that you might want to do this are you can now, if you follow my simple instructions, you can play your Diablo 2 game with your eyes on the screen, your right hand on the mouse, and your left hand on the keyboard. And you will not have to be looking back and forth and changing your hand positions constantly. This will allow you to play more effectively and hopefully to survive longer in the higher levels. Okay, so let's get started. Thanks. Hello again out there, YouTubers. We're going to walk you through the process of remapping your keyboard for maximum speed and efficiency so that in the higher levels you can uh, change skills without looking at the keys. You can leave your left hand on the keyboard, your right hand on the mouse, and your eyes on the screen at most all times. And this is how we're going to accomplish that. First of all, bring up your Diablo game. Create a game with one of your existing characters or create a new character. And once you have him there, usually in the rogue encampment, you can press the escape key and bring up the screen which gives you options, save and exit and return to game. We want the options so we click on that. We click on configure controls because that's exactly what we're going to do the, at this point. Now we have a, uh, a screen which allows you to reconfigure and remap your keyboard and your controls. So we look at, first of all we're going to look at the skills. There are 16 skills, 1 through 16. As I said we're going to remap those to the left hand and we're going to use the positions that uh, are most familiar to touch typists with your left hand on the home keys A, S, D, and F. So the way I start is I use the upper row Q, W, E, R, T, the first five letters I assigned skills one through five so skill one would be Q, 2, W, 3, E, 4, R, and 5, T. Then we take return to the home position for skill six A, 7, S, 8, D, 9, F, and 10, G. And then for the last five skills, we're saving one for the F keys. The uh, skill 11 would be Z, 12, X, C, 13 is C, 14, V, 15 is B. Skill 16, I use F3. I usually assign this to Town Portal. Okay, now if we go back up to the top, we'll see that the character screen has become unassigned. I assign, assign this to a comma. The inventory screen remains an I, the party screen remains a P, the hireling screen remains an O, the message log remains M. The quest log is no longer a Q because that's been reassigned, so I assign that it's, it's up to you, but I usually use an H. And um, the help screen, I don't use that much, so I don't assign it. The skill tree, I assign to a J instead of the T that was uh, to a default value. Now, some other keys you may wish to reassign are the show items key, which you go down 
a bit to find and uh, you see that that's usually assigned to an alt but that's very dangerous because on the Windows keyboard you can frequently hit the Windows key interrupt your game that way so I reassign that to a space a space bar okay the shift key we still use for a stand still the chat key is still an enter now the swap key which is used less frequently I assign to alt and um, that about wraps it up we've reassigned the 16 skill keys had to reassign some of the other keys because of the ones that have become unmapped but you'll find if you're a touch typist that this is much more efficient you can use the hot keys to change skills during a, um, a heated battle much more easily and um, this will increase your survivability and your effectiveness so that's about it thank you and good gaming